Well, hello everybody. I'm Steve Montelli. Today I got the Dunn Wallet in the mail. The Dunn was a Kickstarter project uh, back when it all started. I got the brown one with the gold accent tab here. Um, you open it up. It's very simple. Uh, a couple of card slots here. Uh, it comes with a piece of paper in it that has some black on black wording. Uh, two card slots on this side and a cash slot right here. But it looks very well done. <laughs> There's a little double entendre I will try and not do again. Uh, it looks very good. Let me give it the sniff test. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Sniff the outside. Let me sniff the inside. It's the infallible test, you know. You know, the leather smells good. I mean, the leather does not smell like cheap leather. Uh, let me see. I, let me look at Hold on one second here. Yeah, top grain leather, handcrafted of the best top grain leather. So they're calling it top grain leather, and I'm calling it as good enough. I mean, it does not smell like cheap leather, does not smell like real rich leather, but it does smell like leather, so that's a good thing on a Kickstarter project. Stitching, all nicely completed. Machine stitched. Uh, I think machine stitched, but it looks good. It looks good. Let's put some cards in it. So, so far, so good. The project got completed. That's good thing number one. Good thing number two is it doesn't smell like a cheap leather. And that's uh, that's kind of a fault on some Kickstarter projects. I'm putting two cards in this slot. Okay, I'm going to put... Uh, let's put one card down here. And another card up here. And I've got a third card... So that's going to go in the bottom slot here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it's thin enough. Oh, here's an interesting thing. All right. You see deep down in there how those two inside cards stack on each other? See, I've, I've had this happen before. And it's really, you know, it's something that doesn't really need to happen. And I'm sure it's just my you know, palette of, of what's good and what's not. I don't think that needs to be like that, but it's very easy to correct, and I've done this on other wallets too. Take that card out, put it in there. Take this card out, put it in there. So now you have two empty slots. Let's see the difference. See? There's a difference, isn't there? That is much better than it was the other way. So I can live with that. Now, I've got five cards in here, but i got an extra card. Let's put an extra card in the pocket with only two cards. Let's see how we do with six cards for you guys that want to really, you know, weight your wallet down a lot with six cards. So there's six cards. And I'm just holding it lightly. Six cards are acceptable without those inside cards really stacking it up on each other. All right, bills. I've got six bills here. Let's slide them into place. It goes under the cash flap. The bills slide in real easily. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I can get a bit clumsy when inserting bills into a wallet. These go in really good. There you go. A little bit thicker, but that's six bills. So what can you say? It's still, you know, still acceptable. Now there's another way of putting bills too. You can take them, fold them in half. And you can slide them under the flap like this. Now, on the Kickstarter video, he does some magic of going through the bills and pulling one out from the inside. Now, I'm going to try that, but I don't have great hope. Um, <laughs> it's not... Okay, let's just pull one out. Okay, see, I pulled out three because I grabbed the wrong one. Anyway, if you do that right, you can slide them out one at a time. But I'm going to leave that to the more... Uh, adroit individuals on the uh, on the Dunn wallet. So let's take the bills, put them back in like that. It stays thinner anyway. Close it up. Pretty good. Not bad at all. So I give the Dunn a thumbs up. Number one, they got the project completed. That's always a good thing on a Kickstarter project. Number two, the leather, while it's not great leather, it is certainly good enough and it smells like real leather and not like a, a um, you know there's no other way to say it like a Chinese manufactured wallet 
You know, it does not smell like that. It smells okay. Uh, pretty good little footprint. It's nice. They did a good job on it. So, like I say, the Dunn gets the thumbs up, and that's the quick overview. All right, thanks.